Good morning, folks. Provoke Rage posted this yesterday. Magnetic tornadoes possibly heating the solar corona. The takeaway is the magnetics, which seems to drive everything solar. The electric model should probably be renamed the electromagnetic model, and in my opinion, it's the key to the future. It's going to be a hot one for much of the United States, hitting triple digits today widespread. Largest radiation spike yet detected at Fukushima. Don't forget the EU summit is today. That ought to be good for some false hope. NASA Observatory delivered the current U.S. smoke and aerosol pollutant map. Wildfires are at record levels in Colorado, and the air effect is significant. Switching gears a bit, the last few six-pointers we have seen came from these longitudes, Alaskan Islands, Russia, south of Australia. I believe we can rightly shift the focus to the Americas. Quake swarms are normal in Alaska, California, and Europe, but not the South American subduction zone on the West Coast. This is fairly new. Also of note, moderate quakes are continuing on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Another swarming area is Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Dominican Republic area. You might remember this is also an East Coast tsunami threat, along with the Canary Islands, which woke up two days ago, still has not shut up. Grid swarm moved slightly southwest from yesterday. Ovation Prime shows low to moderate building particle bombardment, and as we look at the SOHO solar wind data, the slight disturbance is visible up top there with the solar wind speed elevated, probably from the dark coronal hole up north turning away to the right. The former Illuminati Pyramid Birdman Chicken Corona Hole is now just a trans-equatorial blob, but it is just as dangerous. Behind it, you might notice the active region unable to sit still. Lots of ejecta coming out. Look at those sunspots next to a magnetogram. We can see some magnetic mixing and the need to hope the instability remains minor. On the southern solar images, looking first at the region just below the corona hole, which NOAA has labeled Beta Gamma. You can't easily separate the red and blue, so Beta Gamma is an appropriate classification, although she does look better than yesterday. What I'm really worried about is what's following her. Just turned around the corner, survived two transits already from her original number 11471. She's back for round three. The Solar Watch continues, folks. That's the news. Be safe.